Hello everybody, this is the final LEGO Jurassic World Fall 2021 set. I can't, be I can't believe I'm finally doing it. The fact that this has been sitting on my table for like five months, collecting dust, and I still haven't gotten a chance to do reviews on this because of everything else just kept coming up on the forefront and I had to do other stuff first before doing this. And I'm finally in January 2022 being able to do this set. Took a, took a long time, but it's about damn time. So this is the big set of the wave. This is set, uh, this is the Baryonyx Dinosaur Boat Escape. Features a brand new Baryonyx figure, and uh, when I say new, I really mean new. There are some distinctive differences from this from the previous Baryonyx that we've got, but we'll see in a bit. And the boat that's on is buoyant, it can, it can float on water. So, without further ado, let's get right into this set. First things first, is the boat buoyant? Yes, it is. The boat is built on this this boat piece that uh, if a boat is floatable, then this would be the piece, obviously. Um, so therefore, I will not, I'm not going to actually put this on water, but just yes, this could be, this can be floated on water. Um, other than that, the whole base is just a black base, as you can see. And the, it's just a sticker here, of, Boat 28 with the Jurassic World symbol and then the same on this side. We have some of these uh, buoyant things, forgot what they're called, but they're to keep the boat steady and if the boat's docked, they will be dropped so the boat doesn't float away. Um, so there's that. To Actually, there's lots of space on this boat, primarily because you know it needs space to hold the dinosaur, the baryonyx in this case. Here's the back. And yeah, so like I said, lots of space. There's a drawbridge here. The main bridge is here, which is kind of weird. I would think you would think the bridge would be at the back, so you can actually monitor the dinosaur at all times. But I guess this works too. Um, and yeah, and then there's a uh, the front here. We have a little headlight, which Owen can be controlling. Owen, we'll take a look at him in a bit. Um, there's that. And then, well, I did not realize this was not attached free securely, but. As you can see, this can be taken off as one whole piece for easy accessibility. In here, it's just a little storage compartment, as you can see. Fire extinguisher, two little crates of fish, um, and there's that. And then we have in this bridge, it's just one level. You can see, you can remove the, or not remove, you can lift up the roof so you can put your figure inside. Just like that, um, and then yeah. So it's a one whole piece. As you can see, tranquilizer gun on the side. This is on the side, and then this is the top. You got the headlights, radios, satellites, binoculars. And you got headlights at the back to monitor the baryonics, of course. Um, and then there's that. So inside the steering wheel, you can see it. It's just control panels and a steering wheel and a thermom or gas pressure measurer. Um, and then yeah, so there is that so the bridge Very simple as you can see you would think they would put more but not nah, that's not the case It's very simplistic and Yeah, so there you go that struggled a little bit of it Okay, on the rest of the actual boat to be considered um, There is this bridge, you know, so the minifigures can get on top feed the baryonics and all that and whatnot um, and then there's that. And then on the main cargo hold is where the whole Baryonyx is actually being held. You can see it is uh, attached via these uh, cape, these uh, clamps, which of course can be removed. And then this will be lifted down if you want to free the Baryonyx. So this, this locks it in place, so you can't move. It's a neck restraint. So of course to free it, you would have to lift it down like this. There we go. And then uh, you can take the Baryonyx out just like that and then have him go on a rampage. So with the Baryonyx out of the way, here's what it looks like. This is where the little stand for the Baryonyx will stand on. And yeah, so not a lot of space, but there's still enough to hold. I think you could hold a Carnotaurus or T-Rex in here if uh, I think it's possible. Not just the Baryonyx. So, other than that, here's the, here's the rest of the boat without the Baryonyx in it. 
Um, so what do I think? It looks it looks pretty genuinely pretty good. I actually really like the idea they went here. Um, I like the well, obviously it being able to float is good, great for the play experience. Um, what else? Oh, I do. I will say I like the. Uh, uh, the bridge. It's a little bit simple, but I guess simplicity really helps. Um, and then, yeah, so I wish it's good. There's only used one sticker, like one set of stickers. So they're not overflowing this boat of stickers. Because keep in mind, if you actually put this in water, there is a pretty good chance it'll rip up the or damage the, the stickers because, of course, it's paper. So that's good. They really avoided that, and I think that's good. And other than that, yeah, that is uh, that is pretty much it for this boat. I, I, I enjoyed it in particular, and I think it's a good build. Okay, on the side, we have this little uh, lifeboat in an olive green color. We've got a little baby dinosaur on top, which we'll look at in a bit. And this is just a little speedboat with a cargo in it. Just a carry cargo and many things about. Carry these two, as you can see. We'll look at them momentarily. Uh, but other than that, it's a very simple build because the whole... Uh, Jet boat, it's rescue boat itself. It's just one whole piece. We've got to, we've gotten these in other sets as well. Here's the engine. There's no lever though, which I'm surprised to actually control this thing. And other than that, it's just a very very minimal piece build. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces in total to put this whole boat together. So it's very simple. I do like the olive green though, so. That's good. And then we have a little crate of cargo in here. Got some binoculars, walkie-talkie, and two dinosaur eggs. Maybe that's why the Baryonyx is not happy, because um, it could be the Baryonyx's eggs. And the cargo just slips in this boat. It's very nice and simple. So that's that. That's a, that's a little side bill on the side. It looks pretty good. So, yeah. Minifigures time. Um, there are four minifigures in this set. One of them is being Owen, and as I've liked to, I like to state in these Jurassic Park videos, Owen is pretty much the Steve of Minecraft. Which in every single Minecraft Lego Minecraft set, you get a Steve or an Alex in every single set. So therefore, there is no value to the figure. There's nothing distinctively special about it. He's, you've got him in one set, you can get him in all the other sets. So Owen is out of the picture. Serious, your average uh, Chris Pratt face. Not gonna waste your time looking at him because he's not new. All right, the other guy we have here is this uh, ACU guy or an asset containment unit person, and her job, of course, is to act as the dinosaur police, keep the dinosaurs dinosaurs at bay, make sure they're on their best behavior. He's wearing his uniform. He's got his hat. No secondary face. Uh, it's just a, you know, just a, just a soldier minifig. He's got that pretty serious face, if you will. Or actually kind of the I don't know what I'm doing kind of face. So, is that. Um, and then the last two, uh, these are two characters, main characters. These are Yaz and Darius. Darius was in another set. I guess these, these are from the Camp Creation show, which I don't follow that for a while. I probably don't recognize it. So, Darius is right here. He's got a life jacket on over his yellow shirt. Two faces. You see? There's his two faces. Um, and then, yeah. So I think we got him in another set. I think it was the Stiggy Lomok XK set. If I remember correctly. Um, or was it the Carnotaurus XK? I actually don't remember it. But yep. So he does that. And then this is... Yaz. Also wearing her life jacket. She's got the... Uh, the uh, gray sweater over her hair, two faces as you can see, just like that. Um, yeah, so again, two characters I don't follow, but I just see these as average class minifigures, so there's that. Okay, before we look at the Baryonyx, there is one other dinosaur included in this set, and that is this little baby T-Rex. Of course, we've gotten these baby T-Rex dinosaurs very frequently recently in all the Jurassic World sets. This is just another one to add to the collection using the Rex T-Rex colors. Very cute. One piece, no articulation, of course. So yeah, just to show you, you get this. Very, very adorable. Okay, and here is that Baryonyx, the star of the show in this set, of course. Now, you will notice right off the bat, why am I having him standing like this? 
There is already one huge problem with this Baryonyx. It is a completely different mold from the last one we've got, which is this one. Now you'll notice one very important thing. This Baryonyx is on ratchet joints. Therefore, it has strong supportive foundations and it can stand on its own and do other poses. This Baryonyx lacks in that. It is completely different. You may think, oh, it's the same mold. No, it isn't. I've tried, double checked it, making sure I attach all the pieces properly. Unfortunately, it is not the case. The front is so heavy on this Baryonyx that uh, the legs are on a round t pin. They're not on a ratchet joint unlike this Baryonyx. I don't know why Lego stepped away from that and uh, what problem does it cause them? Well, obviously, it cannot stand up like this because it's just too heavy on the front. It cannot stand up. It has, look at that, it's either like this or I have to stand all the way up like this. Now I really make sure I, I like did not do anything wrong, but you can see the problem is right here in the Technic pins. These are attached all the way in. I guarantee you, these are attached all the way in. There's you cannot go further than that. And it's not even the tightness of, of how these legs are attached. The problem is the piece used to connect it. Why don't they stick with the ratchet joints? It worked well with this Baryonyx, but not with this one. Um, obviously, another big distinctive difference is the color and the arms as well. Whereas this Baryonyx, can, you can have the, you can rotate the wrists. You know, you can get some posability. This followed the new Indominus Rex as well, and only have these singular arms that you cannot rotate the wrists whatsoever. So it's it's stuck like this. It's just like this, and uh, the only articulation is limited is like this. However, there is studs, so I guess you can attach a minifigure securely, but rather you grab it. You know, there's a grabbing motion with the hands, and that is really what is more superior. So this foundation thing is already a huge problem for this Baryonyx. Um, also on this Baryonyx, there is he's got lime green, so it seems a little bit cartoony if you if I must say so. Um, one other thing though, on this tail, look at this, you can twist the tail, only twist it like this, you cannot move it side to side or up and down, um, whereas the old Baryonyx do the same thing, but it's uh, attached slightly different, as you can see, just like that. Um, so, yeah, so there, that, that's the comparison, oh, one more thing, and then the head articulation, of course, is also that is on a racco joint, ra ra ratchet joint on a ratchet joint, and can be uh, that. And then the mouth can be open shut. See, this is where it does better. You can lock the mouth open and shut in place, so you can get posability. However, for the old Baryonyx, you can only, you know, it's very loosely like that. So there's a pro and con to everything. I just prefer the old Baryonyx a lot better because this this is already having a major problem with the the way it stands so you're kind of forced to have it like down like this and that's just not good you want your dinosaur even if it's on a stud look at this it doesn't that that is not the problem is just the material used here look at this is this technic pin attached to here so i'm a little bit disappointed sparrows is good but i'm a little bit disappointed just by the 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 turn, you know, the it really went down. The quality of the dinosaur figure here and it's stuck stuck like this. There's nothing I can do about it. So I'm a little bit bummed up by this, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think this Baryonyx is better or the older Baryonyx is better? Because I personally think this one is not that good, but I I would prefer the older one. I, I'm just I just wish something could be I, w I just wish they didn't change it and just kept the original mold for this Baryonyx so as well as the arms so yeah that's the Baryonyx here is the box it is a hundred dollars but this set really looks like a seventy dollar set judging of the box uh, set seven six nine four two with three hundred eight pieces so just there like that just the boats floating aside looks like the Baryonyx is already broken out and on a rampage and then you've got your list of minifigs down here and then you got the artwork up top here and then here is the back of the box looks like uh, Owen is feeding the Baryonyx 
and uh, showing you all the other play features as well as the um, and telling you the boat really floats and showing you the measurements of the boat. So, in that case, that is it for the box of this magnificent set. This set is great. You know, first time in a LEGO Jurassic World line, we get a one of these uh, buoyant floatable boat sets. You've gotten some in other themes as well, especially LEGO City. But it's nice to see it for a change in this in this ship, in this ship, in this Jurassic World franchise. Um, it's good. So, assembly was quite easy because, you know, the whole boat itself was one big piece that all you had to do was just to put the other pieces over top. And that was good. The Baryonics, like I said, looks a little bit cheaped out because it's just way too light color. It just looks like... I like the new mold, though, you know, with, like, the new the new prints and everything and then some there are some new as you saw new features they are different from the previous baryonyx um the side boat is mats whatever um honestly i would say this is a pretty good set uh, the baryonyx i like it it just could be a little better in my opinion um but overall this is uh how much was this this was let me check my price tag this was a hundred bucks when i bought it so, is it worth it? Well, keep in mind, the dinosaur pieces already ramp up the price. So, the, that contributes part of the value. Also, the boat piece is a massive piece. That itself is like, what, 20 bucks? So, maybe if I was to reprice this set, I would probably list it as 70. 70 makes it better. It just seems too little for the 100 bucks that you're paying for this set. But, overall, it's not bad. So, I'm going to give this a 8 out of 10 to say the least. I like, obviously, the biggest highlight for me is the Baryonyx. Dinosaurs, Lego animals, you know that's my thing. So, this definitely delivered. Um, I do think, I like the Carnotaurus Escape a little better than this, because that technically counts as a big set as well, but uh, this is not bad. I will say, if you try to find this, try to find it quickly, because I have not been seeing this set appearing very frequently I think it's uh, getting sold out quite a lot so keep in mind for that but other than that thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more and that is it for the Jurassic World sets and we can finally we can finally do the 2022 sets because we finally blitzed through every single 2021 set thank god that took way too long so I cannot wait to get started on the 2022 releases so thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.